we're on our 2008 server now. I'm um, going to log on and we're going to look at a few more group policy settings. Last time we looked at um, deploying software with group policy and we could assign the software to a computer, we could assign or publish it to a user and based on what we did different things would happen. Um, let's do something here make sure there's not, I don't have anything make sure there are no policies restricted here oh remind me later we'll update. All right, we're going to make a new policy and we're going to restrict software and it's just going to be here on enemy agents um, or enemy agents OU. So we're going to create and link a GPO here and let's see Prevent software installation is what we'll call it. And I'm going to go ahead and edit this GPO. And what I want to do is go down to User and under Windows Settings and Security Settings. Let's open this up. And you'll see here there's this item Software Restriction Policies. And I want to go ahead and right click say New Software Restriction Policies. When I do that, notice these three options appear. Disallowed, basic user, and unrestricted. Um, this is the most permissive. This is intermediate based on user permissions. And this would be uh, the most restricted type of permission. So I'm going to go ahead and set that as my default. We want to prevent Dr. Evil and our enemy agents from installing harmful applications and malicious software. But there are also additional rules. And let's take a look at that. What I could do even though I'm choosing not to allow normal applications to be installed um, on the enemy agents of you, I can add specific programs that I need them to install. So, say if I were going to let them install Frogger, this would generate a hash value based on the file size, um, its creation date, and other attributes of the file. And Let's say that it wasn't a Frogger program, it was a Trojan. So we'll allow enemy agents to execute this Trojan. And in this case, now I've made a hash rule, and it appears for that particular item, Great Quest EXE. And so they could actually run that program or install it. But then, considering all other programs, they have been disallowed or denied the privilege of installing software. So let's go ahead and log out here. And let's do our GP update. And again, I could just type it, but uh, sorry, I'll go ahead and run it from a command prompt so you can see what's going on. Policies updated. And let's log out and log in as one of our enemy agents. Now one of the things we want to do because of our restrictive desktop policy um, in Northern Hemisphere enemy agents would inherit that. Remember Dr. Evil's here um, and evil agents are, he, he's one of our enemy agents, excuse me. Um, so we want um, this would restrict him from installing software. He wouldn't have access to the uh, you know in this case we haven't given him access to my computer or anything like that but what we'll do is temporarily we'll just block policy inheritance and so we'll, this policy here that's above will be blocked in the Northern Hemisphere. And uh, I hope we're about saving that. And I'm going to go ahead and do a GP update. And this time, just run it from the prompt. Okay, here we are on our Windows Vista uh, Ultimate Client or Workstation, and we're going to log in as Dr. Evil. Now remember, he has the software restriction GPO applied to him and his OU, um, and we're blocking policy inheritance from the desktop restriction OU, so that we'll have permission to you know, use Windows Explorer and, and do a few things on the system. So we're going to log in, 
and I'm going to go to the network share UNC path of our 2008 enterprise server, Sarah. And when I go to Sarah, I'm going to go into my shared folder here, background. And let's try to install a couple of applications. I'm going to go here. And here's an exe. Matter of fact, let me change that so you can see that. We'll go to folder and search options, view. I'm going to say show hidden files. I'm going to uncheck the hide file extensions and hide protected operating system files. And click apply. And let me set that for all my folders. And now we can see the file extensions, but you'll see a binary executable in EXE. If I go to Setup, and I try to click on this and run it, look at the message. This program is blocked by group policy. For more information, contact your system administrator. Remember, I didn't generate a hash value for that, so I don't have permission to install it. And let's go here. All right, same thing if I were to go to MS Project, and say I want to install this program is blocked by group policy. Again, Office 2003. And if I were to go to setup, this program is blocked by group policy. So that's very useful if users are trying to install software they should not, or possibly malicious programs that might harm a workstation or a server. Group policy can prevent the installation thereof. Now remember I generated a hash value as an exception for greatquest.exe. Now this is a basically an exe for a Frogger 3D game, and I don't have the full game installed. So it's not going to function or work properly, but I'm going to click on it, and at least you'll be able to see that it does, in fact, uh, execute. And group policy does allow it to run, because it is an exception to the rule. It has a hash value that's been generated for it. And again, see, we have no group policy message. In this case, just couldn't find the 3D, because I don't have the whole game installed. So that's just you know an example of using group policy and software restriction policies.